Hello, Steph from the future here to let you know that the audio in this video kind of sucks. Uh, we had a little tech issue, it's all fixed now, but um, yeah, I didn't want to refilm this video because I did a lot of first impressions and I really, really liked how it all turned out. Uh, so yeah, just a little heads up. The audio sucks, it starts off kind of good and then it just goes like all over the place, tried to make it as good as we possibly could, but uh, yeah, it kind of sucks a little bit. The video, I like the video, I like the makeup, but um, the audio sucks, so try and ignore that. Hope it doesn't bother you too much. Um, enjoy the video, bye. Hey guys, Steph, welcome back to my channel. As you can see today, we're keeping it very, very casual. I'm in a band t-shirt, hair up, and we're gonna do like a full transformation today. I have a ton of products to try out. We're doing a first impressions, rude. But yeah, since being off the internet for a little while and not really posting too many makeup videos, I am back and I am loving it. And I have so many new products to try out, products that have been pretty trending on like TikTok, YouTube, just products in general that loads of people seem to have a lot of good things to say about them. So we're gonna chuck them on my face today and uh, we're gonna we're gonna not look like this by the end of it. That's for sure. So. Uh, Let's get into it. So the first product I'm gonna be using for my skincare is by Skin and Me. I love their moisturizer, just mostly for like a makeup base, but it's also just a good moisturizer in general. And they have sponsored this portion of the video. You guys know by now, I love Skin and Me. I've used them for months and I have a discount code just before we get into it. I have a discount code that I will put on screen now and also down below, cause it's pretty major. This is like the star of the show. This is the Skin and Me Daily Doser. And essentially, if you guys haven't heard about it, this is a brand new tube. This here is my very own personalized customized skincare and honestly like let's get a little bit TMI right now I am due on I have not been eating like the best things recently I've been going out now that's been sunny a couple of beer gardens glass of wine all of that and normally my skin would just be hating life right now but honestly I use this consistently every single night it's the last step of my skincare routine and it has like genuinely transform my skin. Before my skin was pretty good. Like I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't like overly problematic or anything, but I did have some scarring, a little bit of texture, just a few things that I wanted to kind of iron out. And this has done it. I'm always trying out other skincare products, you guys know, but I use this consistently every single night as the last step in my routine. So you just answer a few questions, send them a couple of pictures. It literally takes like a few minutes to do. And then they will send you out your own personalized, customized skincare. And you guys know I'm very, very into my packaging and I love this. It's also got my name on it. Like yours will have your name on it, which is really cool. But basically you just give it a twist. Like I said, this is a brand new one. So it might take a couple of clicks. And when you hear that click, that is literally all you need to use. So you're not using too much, too little. It's giving you exactly the right amount of products. So this has a whole month's worth of product in the tube and then the next month you will get another one sent to you. And sometimes they'll actually change the ingredients like as your skin changes, they'll do check-ins and everything like that. So you're always gonna get something that will help your skin there and then. As a lot of you guys will probably know by now, I have worked with Skin and Me many, many times because I genuinely think this product is sick and Ollie's been watching me use it over like months and months and months and he's now actually gonna get his own subscription to it as well. And Ollie even said to me the other day, he was like that cleanser and moisturizer, cause I also gave him one of these as well. He was like the cleanser and moisturizer is so, so good. So I think I'm actually gonna get him onto the actual Skin and Me tube. But yeah, if you guys wanna check it out, honestly, it is such a good product. It just takes like the guesswork out of skincare. Like there's so many skincare products now, so many ingredients, and sometimes you can mix ingredients that maybe shouldn't be together. But with this, you have literally everything you need in this one little tube. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with the moisturizer as like, not necessarily my primer, but just like a bit of a makeup base. And what I'm gonna do is take around about that much. And I'm also gonna mix in some of my bronzing drops. So just mix those two together. and just pop it on and it's honestly such a lightweight moisturizer. Like I won't lie, if there's one product you guys are gonna get, get the Daily Doser, but also if you fancy treating yourself, the moisturizer and cleanser are really, really nice, really good for like sensitive skin. They do a few different options depending on your skin type. Like you can see, it's just, it makes my skin so glowy, so hydrated, works so well under makeup as well, which is obviously a must for me. Uh, so if you guys wanna try it, Skin and Me, I've just gotten that cream everywhere. If you guys wanna try it skin and me, then again, details here, details down below um, and check it out. And let me know as well, if you have been using skin and me, how you've been getting on with it. Cause I'm very, very curious. I know a lot of you've been liking it. So uh, yeah, check it out. So now the moisturizer is done. Uh, I'm gonna put in my contacts actually. Let's chuck some eye drops in first as well. I'm so tired at the moment. I've not been sleeping properly. Oh, I'm so bad at putting eye drops in. I have to literally like, 
almost put them straight into my eye. Eh, I'm not crying. That one barely went in my eye, but it's fine. See, so yeah, I'm gonna pop on my contacts. I have been loving contacts again recently. I don't know what it is. I'm not, I think people always think that I hate my natural eye color. I really, really don't, but I just go through stages as you guys know. And with this tiny little bit of blonde in my hair and like a tan and contacts, I just feel very Steph. I know it's it's not Steph, it's not how I was born, but I feel very Steph like this. So I'm popping these in. These are from Solotica, by the way. And these, sorry if you like grossed up my eyes, I am as well. These are the best contacts I have ever tried. So that's what they look like. Madness, isn't it? Like, it's crazy. And I actually do have a discount code for Solotica as well, which again, I will put down below and also on screen now because it can save you some money. But yeah, these are the Hydrocore Ochre ones. Uh, again, I'll, I'll link literally like everything that I'm putting on my face now down below but these are fab, I use them all the time, always get questions. Um, the ones that I use at the moment are ochre, this color here. Oh, I love them. All right, let's get into the makeup. So yeah, I have so many products to try out today. There's a lot of high end, but there's also a few drugstore bits as well. I have been looking for this product for so long. I could have ordered it online. It would have arrived a lot quicker, but I wanted to get it in store so I could color match. Uh, and then when I went to color match, they didn't have my actual color in store. So I ended up getting the fair one. This is the Collection Gorgeous Glow. What? There's like a glitch in my mouth then. Collection Gorgeous Glow Filter Finish Complexion Boosting Primer and Illuminator. Longest name ever, but as you guys probably know, this is supposed to be a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury one. And Elf have actually just brought out their own one as well, which I am dying to try. So I'm gonna order that one later on today. But yeah, it just comes with this sort of wand. And I have the fair color because they didn't have the like light to medium or medium one or whatever it was called, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm gonna put some of that all over my face, to be honest, just everywhere I put the Charlotte Tilbury one, which like I said, is pretty much kind of everywhere. That's really pretty. Obviously it looks very, very shiny right now with all my lights and everything, but on my skin, that is like undetectable. I was worried that was gonna be too light for me, but that's actually bang on. That is stunning and to be honest, I would say it is very, very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one. Um, yeah, maybe I'll have to do like another drugstore versus high-end comparison video. Let me know if you guys want to see that with like some updated products. Next to my brows, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Brow Lift. So this is the clear transparent brow gel, basically what it is. It looks very, very similar to the ABH Brow Freeze. So the packaging is just very, very simple, but it does look a lot like the ABH Brow Freeze, if my camera wants to focus there. I mean, it doesn't really look like anything, does it? It actually feels a lot thicker than the brow freeze. And I do really, really like the brow freeze, but it doesn't like fully stick your brows down. Like I don't know why they call it the brow freeze because your brows are still movable, but this one does feel a bit more like it's gonna stick. Well, that was easy. That was really, really easy. If you have thin brows, using a product like this will really, really help you because it does just brush your brows up in a way that makes them look a lot thicker and fuller without having to like draw on loads of brow hairs or anything like that. So yeah, if you've got thinner brows and you wanna go for a more fluffy look, this will definitely help you with that. That is very, very similar to the ABH Brow Freeze. Just on first impressions, this is obviously a lot more affordable. Yeah, thumbs up for that as well. So now for my base today, I'm actually just gonna be using concealer. This is the Iron Magic Concealer from Juvia's Place. And this one here is in the shade 15. I think this should be my shade. I don't actually feel like I need too much coverage at the moment because I have got quite a nice tan, no real spots or anything. So I'm gonna go on with some of this in the areas that I would normally conceal and then just blend it out and see where we're at. So I'm going in with my cocoa sponge. Oh my God. Okay, let's let's do that again, but let's do that on the macro. And then I'm just gonna blend that out. Oh, that's got really, really nice coverage, but it looks really skin-like as well. Oh, this is lush. This, with the little collection filter thingy, this is giving me like the most skin-like skin. I don't really feel like it looks like I have makeup on right now at all. So nice. So now before I go in with powder, I want to try this out first. This is the new bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury. And as you can see, it's massive. So it looks like this. I have it in the shade medium. And I'm actually going to go with a fluffy brush. 
and just pick some of that up on there and then just blend that out onto my cheeks here. It's called the Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer. So it's healthy looking glow, cream bronzer for face and body. I'm just gonna pop it on my skin like that and then blend it out with my sponge. It's blending out really, really easily. I feel like the way this product feels, I do feel like it would work over the top of powder because it's not too creamy. Oh, it's that time again. Need to shave my mustache. Oh my God, I still haven't put my headband on. Someone remind me in like five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'll do it now before I forget. I'm sure this is exactly what Charlotte Tilbury envisioned, envisioned, envisioned. 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 I'm sure this is exactly what Charlotte Tilbury uh, envisioned her customer would look like when they're having like board meetings, being like, okay, what's our target audience? Me in baggy t-shirts with frog ear eyes on. Yeah, that looks really, really nice. Still very skin-like, just adds a nice sheer little bronze. I would say you get away with this as a contour, obviously if you're like a similar skin tone to me. It is a bit warmer, but I feel like if you use a light hand with it, then you can contour with it. But yeah, really, really nice. I feel like this would look really good just on bare skin as well. So that's a winner. Now I was gonna use this on my lips and I still might, but you can also use this on your cheeks. The Lip and Cheek Balmy Tint from New by YSL. Oh, that might be too dark. That might be a little bit too dark. That looks a bit more like me, doesn't it? But yeah, it's the Lip and Cheek Balmy Tint. Oh, I know what you're all gonna say. I was about to say, it's thicker than I expected. And then everyone in the comments sound off. What, what do we say? That's what she said. So yeah, it's like quite a thick consistency. I'm going to pop out my lips, see what it looks like. I mean, I have still got some concealer on my lips, but I'm just playing right now. Just having a little play. That actually looks really nice. That looks lovely. Okay, let's try it on my cheeks. I'm going to take some more on my finger and I'm going to do it like just with my finger for a minute, just to see how that blends out. Cause I feel like this is a good, sort of consistency for that. Very subtle on my skin. You know what? I am actually gonna try the darker one. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, see, I was scared of that for no reason. This is what we call growth people, okay? Like not being scared of the slightly darker blush. I feel like I've grown as a person. Oh, that's really, really nice. I'm not gonna, I doubt I'm gonna like leave this on my lips, but I do wanna try it for a minute. See what it looks like. Oh my God, these are actually stunning. I don't tend to use too many YSL products and I think I've only tried like one product from their new range, but oh my God, you guys know I'm not into any sort of creams really. Like typically I would rather go for like a powder blush, but this is dope. I don't use any sort of lip tints, cheek tints, anything like that, but I am liking this. That is probably one of the nicest lip and cheek tints I've ever tried. Like ever, 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 I love these. Look at that color on my lips, that's so nice. Good job YSL. Next is the product that I have been dying, dying to try out because you guys know I'm a huge fan of the Refi products in general. I haven't tried out the lip products yet. I think they're actually going live again, like a restock today. Maybe they'll be in stock by the time you guys see this as well, but I need to get my hands on them. But they recently sent over to me the new powder and we all know I am very particular when it comes to my powders. I feel like by now I know a good powder when I see one. It's one of those things that I'm so, so picky about that when I come across a good one, I'm like, yeah, that's great. So yeah, this is Jess Hunt's brand called Refi and this is the Skin Finish Water-Based Powder. Oh, the packaging is stunning. Yes, this all over, like so simple, but so nice. Oh, itchy eyelash. That's the worst thing, because then you're just like, oh yeah, that's it, that's the ticket. And then they also sent over the little beauty sponge as well that goes with the powder. Now this to me is a little bit alien. Typically, like when I use a sponge, I feel like the, the way that most people generally use beauty sponges is you wet them, but you're not supposed to wet this one. So that's a little bit different and new for me. So it's got a nice little, like lids. How easy is this tab gonna to be to open? That's another huge thing for me as well. One day, I promise you, like I, oh, it feels like the Becca one. I, let me let me just collect my thoughts for a minute. One day, we're working on something. One day I will make my own makeup brand. I don't know what I'll call it, so feel free to leave ideas down below um, because I am brainstorming 
things. And one day, like when I make a powder, when I make that powder, you know it's gonna be the best, okay? Like, and I'm gonna say that confidently, haven't even made it yet, but it is gonna be the best powder ever. So yeah, this is what the powder looks like. And like I was saying before, I just went and interrupted myself. If you guys may remember years ago, I tried out, I think it was from Becca, and it was like some sort of like hydrating powder, water powder, I don't know, maybe I'll like put a picture of it on screen now. It feels very, very similar to that, it feels very, very cooling. And yeah, the idea is, is you just press this sponge into the powder. Okay, and I'm just gonna use my other sponge quickly just to make sure there's no creasing under my eyes so I don't set it. And I'm gonna just press that on. Yeah, it's like, it feels like a wet powder. That's the only way I can describe it. And it's instantly getting rid of my shine. Like if I show you in the macro, let's find a shiny bit of my face. Where are we? Okay, let's do like this bit here. Got some on my sponge. And it just gets rid of the shine. I'm now gonna go in with a brush and use the powder like this, because this is how I do tend to prefer to powder my under eyes especially. So yeah, it still feels very wet. See, I feel like I prefer it with a brush. I do feel like you get a little bit more coverage with the sponge, but I personally prefer to use the brush. I'm wondering if like, after a minute of using it, if you'll actually be able to see the brush wet because the brush actually does feel wet. And I keep going on about it, I'm like, it's a powder, but it's wet, how does it work? It is a very, very weird feeling. I like it. I'm gonna try it out with other bases, like bases that I know a lot more. I can't say I'm like, this is like my new favorite powder. It is really, really nice though, like if that's your sort of thing. I feel like if you wear a lot less makeup than I do typically, if you're just like a tinted moisturizer kind of girl or guy or whatever, you might prefer it. It is nice though, like the makeup that Jess wears, I totally get it. It is just very luminous and skin-like, but it also, does mattify down some areas of your face. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted about that. Let me know if you've tried this. Let me know what you think. Um, it looks good. I'm not saying it's like gonna replace my Laura Mercier or my Huda Beauty powder or my Lottie London one. Those are like my top three faves, but it is a good powder and it's something a little bit different. So yeah, I'm kind of into it. I just need to get used to it. Next, because I don't even know who I am anymore, I'm gonna go in with more blush. These are the new blushes from Benefit. So they sent over three different shades. I think they have like 12 or 15 shades now. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Willa, which is this one here. Oh no, oh no. It's fine, I'll still use it. Oh, they've still got the Benefit blush scent. So I'm gonna make sure I don't use too much of this because it's a little bit crumbly. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit more to the tops of my cheeks here. Benefit blushes are fab, always have been, probably always will be. Okay, so my nose. I'm actually gonna go up onto my forehead a little bit as well, just to give me a little bit of like a sun kiss look. That's really pretty. Really pretty. I have this, also from Charlotte Tilbury. This isn't the shade that I want to use. I, I've i tried it out like a little mini before. I forget what color it's in, but I do have another one on the way. But this is the Beauty Light Wand Easy Highlighter, and it's in the shade Pillow Talk Medium. I swatched this in one of my PR haul videos. It is a little bit dark, but I wanna try it anyway. A squeeze, and then I'm gonna blend that out with my sponge, just to retain a little bit of moisture in my skin. Stunning. So it looks a little bit dark when I first apply it, but actually when I blend it out, it's pretty bang on, to be honest. Up here, is there any like cast on it or anything? Doesn't seem to be. Yeah, so many people rave about these. And I love the contour one that she does. Like that is just so, so nice. And uh, yeah, the hype is real with the highlighter as well. So now for my setting spray, I'm gonna use one of my faves but with a slight twist. This is the All Nighter Vitamin C Cactus Flower Water Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray, honestly. I have so many just original Urban Decay All Nighters. It is the best setting spray I have and potentially ever will try. Oh, that smells nice. They say like only use like a few sprays, but I use a lot. I like drown my skin in it. And then when it settles down, it still just looks nice and dewy and very, very skin-like. I feel like that's a big, it's not like a secret or like any like major tip, but cover your face in setting spray, especially if you wear a lot of powder, it will just like sink in eventually. You'll look like a shiny mess for a couple of minutes. You will, I won't lie to you. But when it settles down, it will just give your skin just 
oh, just makes it look juicy. So now for my lips, because I'm actually gonna go with my lips first. I have this new product from Sculpted by Amy Connolly. This isn't one that I've seen anything or much about, but I really, really like Sculpted by Amy Connolly products. And this is the Liquid Luster Liquid Lipstick and Gloss. It's in the shade Bear. Okay, packaging looks like this. Very, very nice and like chic looking. Who was there for the Coco Chic days? <laughs> Never forget. Doesn't really have a smell to it. It's very nudey. Though if it's nice. Definitely need to do a little bit of clean up here. That's actually a really, really pretty, just like everyday liquid lipstick color. You guys know I love like an ombre lip where I have a slightly darker lip liner. That's why I don't really tend to use too many liquid lipsticks these days, just because I do like more of an ombre. But I'm gonna let that sit down for a minute before I clean it up and everything, and then I'm gonna go in with my gloss. In the meantime, though, do you know what I also have? I know it's like it's not it's gonna be kind of wasted on what I'm wearing right now, but I will be changing in a second. I have the Refi Body Illuminator, the Body Glow. Pop that there. Oh my god, way way more than I needed there. Blend this out with this brush. Try not to get too much on my t-shirt. That feels really nice. I don't tend to use too many body glows because they can just get a bit like sticky and I always just kind of feel like I've got something on my skin. I only ever really do it when I've got like an event or just like put it on my legs or something. But that, that doesn't actually feel sticky at all, really. I wonder if it'll sink in even more, but it looks really pretty. Like you see that shine there? Let's get like a wife beater moment going on. That's the shine on my shoulder normally. That's the shine after. That's really, really nice. And yeah, it's not, it's not sticky or anything. And it doesn't, it's not overly sparkly. So if I like rub my arm like that, it doesn't really look like much. So that looks nice. I will definitely be using that next time. I want my body to just look like lava. Okay, lips are, lips are drying. I think they're dry, just about. Okay, so the liquid lipstick has dried. And it's a little bit sticky. And I do have quite, you see there? Quite the ridge on my lip there. Yeah, it's like a very, very similar shade there. And just put some of that in the middle. That lip product's quite nice. I'm not like, oh my God, wow, best lip product ever. But it is a really, really nice, just neutral shade. I feel like if you were just like going to work or whatever you're doing, you could obviously just wear either one of these on their own or together. Um, yeah, it's a nice product. I'm not, Again, sitting here saying that, wow, it's the most like game-changing thing. It's the most unique color. It's just a really, really nice new like liquid lipstick and gloss. So yeah, quite pretty. Next for the eyes. Very excited to use this. This is the Glisten Cosmetics, the artist palette. And it just has so many shades. And I have these little like actual paint brushes. Paint brushes for this kind of liner are so good because they've got a good length to them. Shut up, I know what you're gonna say. Uh, and they're also really, really skinny. You could also you could also say that's what she said about that. You could say it about anything. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put some of this um, all night spray on my hand just to wet my brush. I'm gonna go in with this like greeny shade here to begin with. And you just wet the liners. And I'll do a little swatch here. You can see, nice and pigmented there. I've got the world shaky his hands to this, so I might have to do some clear up in a minute. That's a really cool color. Okay, gonna wipe that brush off, and then I'm gonna go in with the shade next to it, I think. And I will blend those two together in a moment. This is fun. I then think I'm gonna go in with this purple shade down here. So once again, taking some of that setting spray and just going around here. Yes. Now we're gonna go in with this pink here. That yellow is stunning. That's a bit naff, I could have done better, but I'll take it. Oh, that was fun. There I was doing like kind of natural sort of like, flushed cheeks, natural lip, and then I'm like, hello, I'm ready to party. 
So now before we do lashes, the other eye off camera, all of that, I'm now gonna go in with this mascara here that so many people have been raving about. It's the Wonder Volume Thrill Seeker from Rimmel in Extreme Black. Have a look at the wand. So the wand looks very, very similar to L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I feel like loads of brands are doing wands like this now, which I'm pretty happy about because I love it. Hmm. I mean, it's nice. I'm not getting like, it's defining them quite a lot. I'm really trying to not get this on my lid or anything. It's not really giving them much bulk or anything like that. What does it say? Wonder volume. It does feel weightless, clump proof. Yeah, it is clump proof. Okay, so it's more about making your lashes look longer, which I would definitely say it is. I mean, I feel like we need a nice big lash with this look. But yeah, it is pretty. I normally like a little bit more like chunk at the base of my lashes, which I'm now getting now that I've done like the second coat. Okay, understanding it a bit more now. It is actually quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I, uh, I was having like mixed feelings for a second then, but that is actually quite nice. I rate it. So then for my lashes, I have these from Kiss. This is the Sister Nature Fluffy and Wispy Finish, 100% natural hair. And I have these lashes here, which look like a lot of fun. They have quite an invisible band as well. And I'm probably gonna do like a corner lash sort of moment, like I always do. I love a corner lash. I feel like, I don't know what it is with my face. I don't know if it's, like my brows are quite close to my actual eyeballs. So I don't know if that's why like full, full lashes look a little bit wild on me. Um, but yeah, I feel like these are a little bit fun. They're a little bit more like fluffy, flispy, flis oh my God, my words today are not it. Uh, wispy, that's the word I was looking for, but these are in the style Dawn. So I'm gonna give them a little snip, pop them on my lashes and do my other eye off camera because that took me a little while there and I'm sure you guys have got better things to do. And then I'll show you guys the finished look. Okay, ears off. See you in a sec. Oh, oh, I didn't, didn't do a thing. See you in a sec. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I am obsessed. I currently, this is not an outfit I don't necessarily plan on wearing, but I just have a leather jacket off the shoulder and I just put on a bra. I never wear bras. This is like a, a little special moment. Thank you, glad we could all share this together. Just because it matched the, the eyeshadow. Lovely. Yeah, I love how this turned out. I love these lashes. They were so easy to apply. Like sometimes lashes without like a proper band can be a little bit tricky, but these went on. Like I didn't have any issues with them at all. I love Kiss lashes. I will say, I don't think I am the biggest fan of the lip. I think for me, it just like, I don't tend to use liquid lipsticks that often anymore. I only really tend to if I'm doing like a red or something really, really intense. So maybe in other colors, if they do them, this will be a good option. But for it being just like a nude lipstick, it does feel a little bit dry on my lips. It's not a bad product at all, but uh, it's not necessarily my favorite. I wouldn't necessarily choose to like go out and buy another one. But oh my God, I love, I love everything else. I'm just like looking at my face like, what else did I kind of do to it? I think the brow gel does stick your brows down more than the ABH one, so that's something to note. I actually do think I prefer that one. I think my favorites of today would have to be the concealer. Um, I really, really like the brow gel as well. Oh my God, this stuff. This is like a winner for me. I think this might be like one of my favorite things, which I, and I'm sure you guys never would have expected because it's like, this. I like the bronzer, I like the powder, I like pretty much everything to be honest. I also really, really like this collection um, filter finish. I am going to be trying out the e.l.f. one. I'll maybe pick up a couple of other products as well, maybe do like another drugstore first impression. So let me know down below if there's anything in particular you guys want me to try. But yeah, I'm loving this. I absolutely love it. Oh my god, the palette, I didn't even mention the palette. This is stunning. This has like every single colour you could need. I love the Glisten Cosmetics actual formula. Um, and you really don't need a lot of product either. Like you can see now it's dry like everything is still completely intact. So obsessed with this, we'll definitely be using this a lot more. But yeah guys, let me know what you think. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time and make sure you turn on notifications as well. If you do want to be updated when I upload, which like I said, is pretty often, it's like three, sometimes four times a week. And also if you guys aren't already sick enough of my face and my voice and everything going on here, make sure you go and follow me over on TikTok and Instagram. You can find everything up here and also down below. And once again, a big shout out to Skin and Me for sponsoring 
sponsoring the start of this video. If you guys do want to try out your own personalized, customized skincare, make sure you check out Skin and Me. I will put the discount code and everything on screen now and also down below. It is honestly so, so good. And I mean, like, good makeup always starts with good skincare. So definitely check this out. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here. I am going to go and head out to an Italian restaurant now, which I am so excited for. Can't wait to put, like, pizza, pasta, all the carbs just in my mouth. So I'm going to leave it here. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.